Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to The Touch. This is an interesting looking horror game I found on itch.io. Looks creepy, especially from just this menu here. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Just some sort of like three legged creature. Or. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, doesn't matter. Okay, then. Let's just get into the game. There's a strange noise coming from the living room. I should go check it out. Wow, okay. Talk about slow. Okay, that's just... Oh, I don't... What's the name of that painting? You see it everywhere in, like, movies and such. No... Quarter? I pressed the wrong button. What? Okay, so apparently pressing escape just kind of exit you out of the game. Great. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> we should go check it out. Yeah. I said shift is to sprint, but I'm not exactly sprinting. I guess I don't sprint just yet. Oh, we have a baby. Hello. Well, you're sleeping. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I know your ABCs. Oh, God, I hate these clocks. They're cool looking. These grandfather clocks are cool looking. My own grandpa has one in his house. But I swear to God, this, this thing will jump scare the hell out of me when it just like does the giant like ding. At like noon or midnight, whichever time it is, it will scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I'll be like, try and go sleep on my next night. Here's ding, ding. I'm gonna be like, oh fuck me. <laughs> it's cool looking. It's antique, but it gives me heart attacks. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's not creepy at all. What I could sworn I turned the TV off before going to bed. If your TV turns on and it's on static, that's always a bad omen. That is a bad omen sign. If it's just like playing some sort of like, I don't know, real estate TV show or something, then that's also something to worry about because that probably means you're being haunted by a dentist. Badum ching. Did I just see that chair fall over by itself? What's going on here? Mate, now might be a time to consider grabbing your kid and just leaving. Wait a minute, why is it just you and the kid? There's free plates here. That kid's a baby. Babies don't exactly need to eat off of paper plates. They eat baby food and formula. So besides you, who else is supposed to be in this house right now for there to be free plates? These are the real questions. Stand chair back up. I saw that. I saw those eyes. I saw those eyes. What's going on with this TV? I just turned off and now it's back on. It's starting to freak me out. Mate, unplug the TV. Best option you could do. Just unplug the thing. Ooh, uh. Oh! I'm not sure why I just saw, but I have a terrible feeling I need to make sure my baby is safe. Maybe because you just saw on your TV a demonic creature just go into your baby's room and then just pop in front of the face of your TV camera thing. What the? Oh, this is actually very creepy. That's a bathroom. That's even creepier. It actually isn't. I need to grab my baby and leave me. There's something terribly wrong with in this house. Uh. 
That's not a good sign. You might want to go ahead and just yeet your baby out the window. I mean, I'm sorry to say it, but you might need to sacrifice the baby to Pazuzu over there. If you want to get out of here, that might be what you need to do. Mary, you want the child? Oh my god! <laughs> That's what you look like? Fine, here, have the kid. Ooh! Take the kid! Take the kid! Oh, was that it? Okay. My dog is in my lap, but I'm about to try something. When he... When he's, like, trying to get in here, can I go through the door? Will the door open? It will! Okay, there we go. Uh, this is still not really running. I would be... I'd be running for the heavens right now. Instead, I'm like... Wow. This is very, very intense chase. Yes, leave the house. Wait for the kid. There's your... Hey, Joel. Uh. Oh, that was it. I guess we just leave the house. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It was simple. It was simple, but very effective. It was creepy and simple. And sometimes that's all you need. Some horror games just they try and do too much or try and just do, like, basic jump scares only. Or some all about story or narrative. Sometimes just sim simplicity will go a long way. And this is a good example of that. Very good. I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. But that is it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all. Do leave it in the comments down below. But till then. I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.